Hi, I'm Christian Howe. Hi, and I'm Chris Reeve. And in this how-to, we're going to see how adding a few props to your shots, such as pieces of fruit, can really give your image an edge. What we're going to try and do is add a little of interest to the image using the colour of the fruit, the pale model skin and the dark background to really add a bit of impact. It's simple but it works. Here we're using a reflective umbrella on a single light. We're getting the umbrella up high, 45 degrees off camera axis to really throw those shadows down. Have a think about which side of the model looks best and which side of the face you're going to shoot. Ensure that the light is actually facing the front of the model and not actually lighting the back of the head. The umbrella throws out a lot of light over a really broad area, so the more distance you have between the model and the background, the better. If you can't get the background completely black, don't worry, as you can always make use of the burn tool in Photoshop. Let's start by metering a pretty standard F11. If you want more depth of field, then you will need to increase the power of your key light to compensate. The key is to get out there and try it for yourself. Think about different foods that add contrast, shape and a new dynamic to your image. Obviously, you'll need to consider the size and type of food, so crumbly foods don't do the makeup any favours and large fruits such as watermelons are a definite one to avoid. OK, so out with the low key background and in with the high key. All we've done is change the colour of the background to white and replace two 60 by 80 sock boxes on each side to light the background, just as an alternative to the high performance reflectors. The model and the umbrella and the key light have remained exactly the same place as nothing has changed and we don't need to change the metering. To get your white background, meter your lights between F11 and F16 and quickly check your histogram or image if you're shooting tethered. Aim to get the spike on the histogram as far right as possible without actually blowing all the highlights. This will allow you to recover some of the edge detail if necessary. Alternatively, if you don't have a light meter, you can slowly increase the power of your background lights until you get a nice clean background. Try and avoid too much power as you end up with too much light bleeding back onto your subject and the shot will look really washed out. Okay, just a case of propping the shot now. This time we've used a Jelly Baby, simply because that's what we've got available. Get the models to pull it between the teeth, play around with it, make the shot look really provocative and sexy. Let's do it. Well that's it, two quick and really easy setup and two really different looking shots, time to go and do it yourself. Thanks for that Christian, now here's a few tips to keep you on track. Watch the distance between the model and the background. If you do get too much light hitting the black background, turn the key light down to maybe F8, this will save you a lot of time in post production. Remember the white paper background reflects far more light than say a cloth or a fabric background would. So also allow for that extra light that you're going to get from your key light umbrella. Watch the height of your light. If you don't have much room, then get the model to sit on a stool or the floor. Props. Use a variety. Not too big, not too small. We use strawberries and jelly babies. That was great. But just try other things. But if you use fruit, tell the models not to eat them before the shoot. There you can see how just a few small props can really give your images some impact. And don't forget to check us out on the Bones website under Lightbook and we'll see you next time on How To. Thank you.